In this tutorial, we are going to learn the different buttons that you can use during your um, application development. You can use this button if you want to create a login screen or add any other screens. So I have here created a Dart file for the buttons, uh, buttons underscore sample, and I have here my status widget. I named the class button sample, my scaffold. What I'm going to do is, um, if you haven't watched my video on rows or my video about column, I encourage you to watch the video before proceeding to this tutorial. Now here in the scaffold, we try to use the body property and then we try to add a column. Let's put the closing um, parentheses below. Here in our column, we are going to use first the text uh, the property children. This is very necessary in order for us to add multiple widgets on our column so after adding the children property you can add multiple widgets here let's try to add a text button so here i have a text button now a text button has a property on press and a property child so on press you can modify this um, whatever you want to happen if the text button is um, clicked so it's here if, if you don't want to uh, do anything so you, you can just place here parentheses and a curly bracket or curly brackets so if you are going to use this nothing will happen if the button is clicked now the child here you can have here one widget so if the, the widget has a child property you can only add one widget but if it has a property of children you can add multiple widgets so text button has a property of child. You can add one widget here. Maybe you want an icon. Let's try an icon. Then icon. So let's try person. Let's try to add cons here to make our code clean. Save it. Now you have an icon here. But this is a button. So you see, whenever I click it, let's try to wrap our column with a sensor widget. Now, our text button is on the center. Now let's try to add another widget. Let's say, um, an elevated button. The same, it has this property. And a child, let's add a text widget to this. Logged in. Let's try to put cons here and then save it. Now you have a button logged in. Just remember that you can add multiple widgets on your scaffold if you are not going to use a column widget. Because column widget has a property of children, you can add multiple widgets. The next button I'm going to show you is the outline button. Still, it has a property of on press. Outline button, we can um, add a text widget. Let's say logged in, comma, then again we'll try to add cons, save it. Now you have here your uh, outline button. So in your button, if you want to navigate to another page, you put the code inside the curly brackets. Like for example, in this curly bracket, we'll try to navigate to my homepage. So you can use navigator dot push then change the route to, to material page route and then the boulder changes the context select this one or this one i prefer to choose this one now let's go to our home page semicolon at the end 
try to put cons here save it so whenever i click the text button i'll be navigated to my home page let's try to check let's try to click the text button Try to restart first. If it doesn't work, then we can click the button now. So here we're navigated to our home page. So you can choose these widgets, whatever you like, and you can wrap this widget um, to a different widget. Now. Um, if you want to separate the widgets um, because the login, the elevated button and the outlined button, if you want to have space here, you can add here a size box widget. Then you can specify your height property, maybe uh, 100. Again, yeah, let's try to add const here. When you save it, it will add a space between the two widgets. So, how about the uh, text button? We'll try to add here a size box. Size box of const. Please don't forget to add comma uh, on e every widget. Forget to place a comma here. You will have here a red zigzag line. So put a comma there and then specify the height. Let's say 100. And now your text button here has a size box. Let's try to remove the size box here. If you want to read other widgets, you can visit this website, docs.flutter.dev. So you can select here, widget catalog, and you can search on the different widgets that are available. The last button will be the floating action button. Floating action button has property of on press. So we're not doing anything. Just going to place here parentheses and curly braces or curly brackets. After that, we can try to add a child property. Then maybe you want to place an icon. Um, icon add. Try to place cons here then save it now you have a floating action button now if you want to uh, place the floating action button here on the bottom right we can remove the floating action button here place it outside the column but inside the scaffold outside the center so after the center widget floating action button floating action button yep then floating action button widget okay and then comma we'll try to add a child widget a child property with an icon widget Okay, icon, select the icon widget, icon person, or icon add, try to add a cons here, save it, now you have your floating action button here, in the bottom right, so if you want to add any uh, operation or uh, you, you want to call and the methods or you want to navigate to another page you can place your code here inside 
the curly brackets. So that is all for the buttons. See you on my next video.